environment. Still urine. Your career. Uh... Ferryby may have been the hub of life on the Humber 4,000 years ago, but in the 1940s, that role belonged to Grimsby, then the largest fishing port in the world. Sailing as far away as the Arctic Circle and Newfoundland, fishermen often worked in appalling conditions. But they reaped a rich harvest, with trawler skippers being some of the best paid men in England. These days, it's a very different picture. Overfishing, depleted stocks and now fish quotas have reduced that mighty fleet to only 12 vessels. But Grimsby is still a major player in the fish business. Fish fingers first made their appearance in 1955 and were considered a luxury after wartime rationing. By the early 60s, they'd firmly established their seemingly unassailable position as the six-year-old staple diet. I'm from some secret admirer. Couldn't be for me. Grimsby knew that if they could better Orient's result at Oxford, then they would claim League Two's third automatic promotion spot. Well, with 15 minutes to go, Orient were drawing, and the Mariners were handed a penalty after Luke Chambers fouled Gary Jones. A successful spot kick from the man who scored the winner against Spurs in the Carling Cup back in September, Jean-Paul Kamadimba Kalala looked to have taken Grimsby up to League Two. But there was late heartache as Ryan Gilligan's stoppage time equaliser for Northampton, whilst Orient was scoring a last gasp winner at Oxford. So it's the playoffs for the Mariners. With two or three minutes to go, that place belonged to us, and then within moments, um, Northampton's equalised, and then, of course, Orient have gone and got the goal anyway, so it was all matter of fact in the end. But, um, you know, we give everything today, and I'm sure if we uh, continue to do that um, via the playoffs, then that's the way we'll have to go up. Grimsby's playoff opponents will be Lincoln, who will be hoping to make it fourth time lucky. A bumper Sinsel Bank crowd saw Gareth McCauley heading home Scott Kerr's cross. And despite Richard Lambert lashing in a late leveller for Rochdale, the Imps fans gave Keith Alexander a champagne send-off for a fourth successive attempt at going up through the playoffs. Mansfield's season ended with a 5-0 home drubbing at the hands of Cheltenham. The Stags, though... Back in New York. City will now go head to head to fight it out for promotion to League One. It follows major disappointment for the Mariners at the weekend. They were hoping for automatic promotion, but it was snatched away by Northampton Gold on Saturday. I thought it was tremendous, and um, I think it will be a good rehearsal for the playoffs because I um, believe it's Lincoln, and uh, that's sure to be a full house and uh, home and away. So. I mean, it's going to be a great occasion, and uh, as I say, it'll be a rehearsal, and hopefully we'll learn from that. The winner of a rather unusual raffle is getting the chance to change the Lincoln... As now it's advantage Huddersfield Town, after the first leg of the All Yorkshire... ...about American immunity. ...league two semi-finals. It's an All Lincolnshire affair. Lincoln City host Grimsby Town at Sinsel Bank in the first leg tomorrow lunchtime. Here's Jason McCartney. The two Lincolnshire rivals only found out for definite they were in the playoffs last weekend. Whilst the Mariners were flirting with automatic promotion, the Imps were celebrating their fourth consecutive playoff appearance. Well, I'm feeling quite relaxed actually. You know, I've been here before. We know what we need to do. We know we've got to rivals but we're looking forward to the two legs you know we want to try and get to the final and win it this time you know we've been unlucky in the past i think first year bournemouth were the better team but last year i thought we were certainly unlucky for the first hour and, and we need to do better just six weeks ago lincoln thrashed grimsby 5-0 in their regular season meeting at sinsel bank but the game is remembered just as much for the mariners boss keeping his players on the pitch at half time when 4-0 down and 
for that infamous flip chart. Yeah, well, it only wakes me up twice a night now. It was a lot more than that on stage. But, um, yeah, I mean, they, they did a good job on us that day. Um, we worked quite right, I don't think. That's gone now, and uh, we must also understand that when they came here, we also thumped them. So the game could be very unpredictable, though I do think it will be a lot tighter uh, than what people may imagine. And whatever the scoreline tomorrow lunchtime, the Lincolnshire rivals will then head to Blundell Park for the second leg on Tuesday night. Well, the other big sporting event in the region this weekend is in Sheffield, where...